Last month, we did a tabletop review of the new Ruger Made Marlin 1895 SBL and 4570 Government. Well, hey guys, welcome to Gun News and Reviews. I'm David Drake. Have you ever had a rifle in your hands that you've been wanting to shoot for a long time, but for whatever reason you couldn't? Here's one. I've been waiting for this a long time. It's the new Ruger Made Marlin 1895 SBL. A beautifully made firearm. This is Ruger's first Marlin attempt. And the most important question we're all going to have is how does she shoot? We're going to find out today. Stay tuned. These are our very first shots that you're seeing, and uh, it shoots about like I expected. Of course, the 4570 has a reasonable amount of recoil, but it, it tends to be a hard push rather than a punch to your shoulder, if that makes any sense. But the first thing I noticed right off the bat about this firearm is how smooth it is. Yep. Here you can see Spencer loading up the side gate. This holds six rounds because of the cost of ammo at two plus bucks a round, we're loading them in groups of five and shooting them that way. You can see right here, next round feeding, and it's an extremely smooth action. First shots for this guy. A little bit of kick, right? Oh yeah. The cycling on this is just so incredibly smooth, so impressed for a longer cartridge, especially. And uh, we had no issues with cycling whatsoever. One of the things I've always tried to avoid is shooting a lever action off a bag. It just doesn't set up well for me at all with sight picture or anything else. But we thought we'd try to see if we needed to make any adjustments to the sights that came from the factory. And, it's pretty clear that if the rifleman does his job, that it's going to be hit and center target at 50 the way it came from the factory. So there's that bench sitting five shot group you saw. And uh, as a three shot group, I'd be excited. Obviously, had a couple of risers there. And this is my standing target, and it's just about as good. Certainly a lot more comfortable. Now, we looked at this five and a half pound trigger and the way this handled in the overview video. How does it do with the range? Every bit is good, if not better. It's just a very fine balanced firearm. It's very consistent in everything it does. Like I said, as long as I am. I see a couple instances when I'm shooting rapidly where I'm just not bringing the lever back with me on my, uh, on my return, but that's just an issue of the shooter. Looking at these sights, I know a lot of guys just don't like the non-traditional look. They work very well. It's important to note that the front sight pretty much covers up the black of this target at 100 yards. So that was our 100-yard group. I think to improve on that, I'd need a magnified optic. About the only ammo I could find on the shelves for this test was this Hornady 325 grain. It's got the ballistic point, and you can see... This stuff really drops after a couple hundred yards. Back in 2014, I purchased this Remington version of the 1895. It had a big loop lever and did not hold a candle to what we're shooting today. And of course, we can't wait to see the 336s that will be hitting the market this year. To see Marlin back is great. To see them come back under the ownership and guidance of a company that believes in their product is also great. Strongly suggest you take a look at this firearm at 4570. It may or may not be the right caliber for you. It's definitely the king of the woods, though. For more news and reviews, please like and subscribe.